two years ago I had a vision to try and attempt to redefine a supercar. The idea around it is to create a limited amount of versions of today's GTR. It was an easy route to take to buy a kit from overseas or locally and just put it onto a car. But we wanted to create the proudest South African version of the GTR. We've managed to get a supercar engine-wise be a thousand horsepower running on pump fuel. I'd like to present to you the Razor GTR. Hi, my name is Razik Raja and uh, two years ago I had a vision to build and redefine a supercar. It wasn't an easy task and it took me about a year to grapple with the fact of buying a supercar and cutting it up and hoping that what we ultimately build at the end would be something that would be desirable to myself and to all out there. When I was at a conference, a friend of mine gave me a call and asked me if I'd be interested in building a GTR and I said to Nur Aspudin that, you know what, we on the same page because I'm actually uh, intending to do so. I returned home with a jacket labeled Razor GTR. My wife looked at me and said, um, what's this all about? I said, well, I've got the jacket, now I just need to build a car. I need to send a shout out to my wife, Noel Raja, and my kids for always supporting all these crazy adventures that I find myself going on. We got a team together, alongside with Noor Asmuddin, it was Niaz Daniels from Xmods, it was Craig Shazank from Shazank Motorsport and Yasin Parker from Dent Expert. And uh, we ended up putting something together that I think all of us can be pleased and proud of. And we've received some, some great uh, rewards out there and uh, we're glad we've, we've created our own identity, which is never easy when building a car. With regards to the team, just to assign the names to it, it was Noor Asmadin being the architect, Craig Shazank being the machinist, Yasin Parker from Dent Expert being the painter and artist. Garen from GT Graphics being our wardrobe specialist. And finally, my wife, Noel Raja, being the boss. It was an amazing experience and it's been an amazing road building a, and redefining a supercar. And um, at the end of it, we've, we've managed to, to get a supercar to engine-wise be a thousand horsepower and pump fuel and the one thing that I'm really pleased about and satisfied about is that we've created our own identity. Uh, we've created a car that is proudly South African, everybody that has worked on the car uh, and that was the intention that I had from day one. It was an easy route to take to buy a kit from overseas or locally and just put it onto a car but we wanted to create a proudly South African version of a GTR and today I'd like to present to you the Razor GTR. Hi, my name is Nias Daniels, the owner of Xmods Fiberworks. What my company does is specialize in high-end custom body kits. As you can see behind me, this is one of the cars that we have built. Um, our main focus is to provide the, the customers that own this car um, that they are getting the best quality and the best product from us. Our work ethic is to make sure that the parts that we build are built with the best material that, um, that money can buy. So um, we don't take any shortcuts on material and make sure that material that, that's being used on the parts that we are manufacturing for this iron cars are of high quality. So about, I would say probably about a year back, I, um, I spoke to the Razik, which is the, the owner of the coin. I mean, he, I know he was, he was in the market for GTR and he wanted to build something that, that is, uh, shall I say, badass. And uh, we then eventually decided, okay, let's make his car the project. And um, I would never have taken this on if, if I didn't know uh, somebody like Niaz, for example, because Niaz is our fabricator. The man does magic with his hands and without him sculpting the kit, you know, where you, I cannot take the, the, my ideas and design, you know, and uh, uh, make it a reality. So, uh, with the, with the, with conversation, in conversation with, with uh, Razik, uh, 
uh, and, and the years we sat down and we, we basically uh, wanted to build something that is that, that, that could potentially go vital. Um, look, when the Skyline came in, um, I was a bit nervous because, um, look, I don't normally work on a million rand car and Razi gave me the opportunity to work on this car and prove that, you know, South African people have also got the talent and that's what I did. Uh, I took it on and uh, took us about two months to build this car over here. We spent a lot of nights, late nights, one o'clock, two o'clock the morning, still busy working on this car, redesigning it and stuff like that. Um, yeah, as you can see, um, after two months is the end result, eh? And uh, I mean, this journey was very exciting for me. I mean, after this car, I've been doing another couple of this high-end cars, and yeah, I'm enjoying it. Hi there, good day. My name is Ken Tuck. I'm the owner of a company called GT Graphics, uh, established in 2007, 10 years old this year. Our role, as far as the Razor GTR, was all the vinyl work on the vehicle. Um, my company specializes in the vehicle wrapping type of thing, and obviously we're very excited to be a part of this project. I was approached by a uh, nude on behalf of Razik to, to look at the vinyl work and everything on the car, and yeah, it's been a, an awesome process so far. What we wanted to do is wanted to prove that you know we, you know, in a in a city like Cape Town, you know, which is so called third world, we can build something that that is. Uh, that kind of also represents who we are in terms of uh, uh, custom builders, but also you know compete globally with the other bigger names out there, and also for a fraction of the price. So uh, this car here is essentially a thousand horsepower badass uh, uh, race GTR that's for purpose built for the streets that you will be able to get for the fraction of what, what, what you pay for a car globally. Yeah. We've received a great reception uh, from social media and the likes. We've received a few awards. Um, we've won the Custom Car Award at Street Mods. We've got the first place. And then, uh, to my surprise, we received the overall Custom Car of uh, 2016. Our idea around it is to create a limited amount of versions of the Razer GTR. So we're not going to mass produce a kit. It's something that would be uh, limited only to a few owners. Obviously with a vehicle like this, it's very difficult to, you know, we don't really compete with the vehicle. The guys have done all the hard work with the body kit and things like that. And obviously this is a GTR Skyline, R35 type of thing. So we're not trying to compete with our vinyls. That's, that's not the winner to me. We're always trying to enhance with vinyl. When we work with the car, we try to enhance the car. Um, I'm not, I'm not trying, to, trying to everyone to look at my wrap job and look at that and that's the feature, no way. So obviously with a vehicle like this, the challenge is the body kit. It's a very aggressive body kit. You gotta watch out how you do it, where you're going. So your, your design work is very important on the vehicle. Uh, you gotta design according to what you see. And obviously, been 10 years in the game, I understand the 3D apps there. It's designed flat, but it's wrapped. As you can see, 3D wrapping. The products that we use in the car are only premium products. It's all full cast products. I use three different brands. The reason I use three different brands is to give an extensive color range. Obviously, with the vehicle, the guys that take the car, they want option. I've got about it. We're sticking with the brass aluminum because obviously it's quite hard. It's quite, you know, it suits the car. But we've got about six different colors that we can make up with the vehicle. Obviously, we've got the base color of the car versus the base color of the, of the vinyl. So we have many options. There's probably over, over 200 options, uh, color options at the end of the day. But premium product, premium car. Makes sense. When wanting to create Razer GTR, I gave a friend of mine, Otto Graven, a call and said to him that uh, I needed his help to find the right mechanical workshop to help us create a car that is not only a monster from the outside but from the inside as well. And uh, Otto put me on to Craig Shazank from Shazank Motorsport, which uh, has really uh, assisted us in, in creating something. Because creating a thousand horsepower South African built car is not something you do every day, and it was a great experience with all the guys around the table. But I'd like to send a shout out to my greatest supporter and uh, my uh, inspiration on uh, creating this GTR and that's my son Mohamed Uzair and I hope you enjoyed the experience uh, and what we've created. Mm -hmm.